I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, August 30th, 2022. Kingston police have released images of three suspects and are asking for your help to identify them following a stabbing near Princess Street and Division Street in Kingston. Police say the incident happened around 1.25 a.m. on Sunday, August 7th, where the victim was sent to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the victim and suspects are not known to each other. Anyone with any information about who these people are are asked to contact Kingston Police. A reminder that tips can be provided anonymously by calling the Kingston Police main number and simply asking to remain anonymous. A 44-year-old Toronto man now faces charges of careless driving after the truck he was operating crashed and fell off the westbound lanes of the 401 on Friday, August 26th. Police say he is scheduled to appear in court in Kingston this November. Thankfully, the truck driver was the only one hurt in the crash and he did not sustain life-threatening injuries. One of Kingston's most beloved events is back following a hiatus due to the pandemic. The annual Kingston Symphony Fall Book Fair returns. The fair kicks off on Thursday, September 8th and runs until September 18th at the Symphony Warehouse. All kinds of books are available at this sale from, of course, music books to collectibles, Canadiana, children's books, poetry, fiction, mystery, military history, science, biology, health, DIY, and so much more. You can read all about it right now at kingstonist.com. The Medical Officers of Health of Hastings Prince Edward Public Health and Kingston Frontenac and Lennox and Addington Public Health have released a statement for parents and students and staff regarding the return of back to class this September. Firstly, the hope is for this year to have as few disruptions as possible, and they remind parents and students of the supports that are in place for kids who are coming back to class, perhaps for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. While masks are not mandated at this time, they are encouraged as are vaccinations. What is mandatory is screening your kids each and every day before sending them off to school and keeping kids home if they or you are sick. You can read Read more about the health, what the health unit has to say about back to school right now at kingstonist.com. And lastly, we had some sad news over the weekend as a noted supporter of history and the arts, Isabel Overton Bader, passed away this weekend at the age of 95. Together with her husband, Alfred, who died in 2018, the pair were by and far Queen's University's most generous benefactors. You can read more about their exceptional life right now at kingstonist.com. And for more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.